This is a rose gold halo eye makeup look that I created using the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette. The first shade I'm going to go in with is the shade Nude, and I'm using a Morphe JH35 makeup brush. I am just blending this into my crease area and then to my inner and outer corners. So this is just going to be my transition shade. I'm just going to warm thin up all those areas and really start to build the halo effect. And the next shade I'm going to go in with is Warm Rose on a Morphe M514 brush. This is the perfect small blending brush. I absolutely love it. It's a must have. So I'm just blending this shade right into my inner corner, my outer corner, blending it up into the crease area so they just flow together with the transition shade and I'm just really going to help amplify that halo effect. So I am going to darken up my halo using the shade Coco on a Morphe JH40. So I'm just going to blend this into my inner corner, my outer corner, up into the crease area, just really building that halo effect. I am then going to apply some concealer to the center. I am using the Benefit Boyne Concealer. You can use any concealer as long as it's very light. So I am just applying this right to the center in a column type application. And this can be messy because I'm going to be putting a shimmer shadow on top of it. I just need something for the shadow to stick to and something that's just going to make the center of the eyelid very light. I am also using a Morphe M124 concealer brush. And then I'm going to apply the shade Rose Gold using my finger. The shade applies so much better using your finger than using a brush. So I am just applying this right on top of that concealer, just building up the center, making sure it's nice and blinding and highlighted. And then I'm going to blend out the edges using a Morphe M514 brush, just so those edges aren't sharp. So next, I'm really going to highlight the center of my eyelid using the Stila Glitter & Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. These are just so good and they're so worth the money. So I'm just applying this right on top of the eyeshadow just to give it more glitter, more shimmer, and it's so beautiful together with that rose gold eyeshadow. So I'm just patting it in with my finger, just blending it out. It dries dry and it just stays and it's just, it's a must have. I'm then going to apply the shade Coco to my bottom lash line using a Morphe JH43 brush. I'm just gonna blend this out into the bottom lash line. Mm -hmm. 
I'm then going to go in with the shade Warm Rose and I'm just going to blend this into the bottom lash line, smoking out the shade Coco using a Morphe M514. Then I'm going to go with the Stila Rose Gold Glitter again, applying this to the center of the bottom lash line to just really help bring the halo effect to the bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to apply winged eyeliner using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner. This is actually exactly what it says. This Clinique eyeliner is pretty easy. I think I got this in like a Sephora play box. I've had this for months and I just absolutely love it. It works so well. And then I'm going to highlight my inner corner using the Laura Geller Peach Glow Highlighter. I love this highlighter. And I'm using a Morphe JH42 brush. And then I'm going in with my favorite black eyeliner, the Urban Decay Perversion Pencil. Applying some mascara and then I'm going to go in some setting spray. It's the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. Love that setting spray. Then I'm applying Twilight by Kiss Lashes. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.